So out in, uh, out in Afghanistan on my, my third tour, and I uh, stood in an IED, and I'd lost my bottom of my right leg straight away, blew the ankle and, and most of the shin. Got operated on in Boston, uh, so I tidied it up and patched me up a bit, and flew me back to Birmingham. And then after that, I went to Headley Court and started a long process of recovery. Well, in that period when I was in the hospital in, in Birmingham, it's a very lonely place. Don't get me wrong, your friends and your family come across to visit you, but they're only in visiting hours, like a couple of hours a day. You know, so it's a very lonely place and you get a lot of time to think about a lot of stuff and there's a lot of bad thoughts come into your head and there's a lot of negative comes into your head. And it's a real it's the hardest time I I found in the whole rehabilitation process. It's that initial first bit. And for the first maybe couple of weeks when I was there I was I was thinking about I just stood in a bomb and I lost my leg and where was my life going from here and all that stuff. And I knew that I was leaving the army, I knew that pretty much straight away. Like these injuries you, you don't get to go back to the front line with these kind of injuries or, or very little people do. I could have maybe stayed in on a supporting role but I didn't necessarily want to do that. So I knew I was getting out and I knew that I needed something to fill the gap and this was absolutely brilliant for it. So I initially just joined the team as mechanic or as a, on a supporting role. I just, just wanted to be part of something, just wanted to be part of the team. And as the team sort of grew and more sponsors came on board, it sort of snowballed and got all the attention and everything, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, we were able to expand the team so much that we went out with four cars. And as a result of that there, because I'd been in the team that little bit longer than some people, and I was like, right, you, you've now got the opportunity to co-drive, yes, brilliant, let's do that. But then I had to learn to co-drive, I had to learn the pace notes, I had to learn how to navigate. I'd done a lot of navigation in the army, don't get me wrong, and that stood me in good stead for it. It, it was a steep learning curve, but definitely enjoyable. And, and to get out to Dagar to be a navigator, well, who's, who's going to pass up that opportunity? The relief that I felt when we had finished that last stage, and the joy that I felt when we had finished the last stage, and the sense of achievement that I felt when we had finished that last stage was overwhelming. Now, don't get me wrong, I've done some hard things in my lifetime with uh, you know military training and stuff like that there. But I'd never done something as hard as that with my injuries. To get to that finish line and to know that that their hard work that we, we had done through them two weeks had paid off and got us to that, that podium was absolutely an amazing feeling. And, uh, and you know, I, I feel bad for the, the guys that never made it because I know if they had got there, they'd have felt their, their feelings as well. And, uh, definitely a good day. That, and, you know, so sometimes when I'm having bad days at home or whatever, my leg's a bit sore and that there, I'll think back to that there and the hard work that I put in on that rally to get to that finish line and it'll make me push myself to do other things and I hope other people push themselves as well and, and, and hopefully I can ins inspire a few people to, to go out and do things as well. Yeah, re race recovery has meant a, a, a great deal to me so it, has, like, it, it really has helped in my recovery. There was there was, there was times that you have low times through, through rehab so you do. To be part of something that has done something so amazing has taken on this challenge and to be the guy that got to the finish line, you know, well, personal note for myself, it's, it's been so beneficial for my own recovery. Like if, you've, if you think like the hardest thing that you've ever done in your life to overcome something but then to go and do something so hard and to over, overcome that as well, it's, it's just been amazing so it's like that is what this team really really does mean to me like it's, it's pushed me and it will keep pushing me make no mistakes the dagger is the hardest race on this planet and to go back out and, and do it again is absolutely amazing and i'm really looking forward to it now last time we had a lot of bad luck joy everybody that's watching i'll, I'll probably know joy and that was it was overheating quite a bit and uh, we were having to stop and start but to be honest it, it kept me and matt in a good rhythm uh, this year I'm getting the opportunity to drive with Ben, so I'm so that is going to be exciting. Me and him have never really drove together, have never really paired up together, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to sort of get into the same rhythm, you know, like um, obviously we'll not be stopping so, so much for the overheating, hopefully. But um, he's a dead on bloke, I'm a pretty sound bloke, so we, we, well, we, we should make a good pair. He's a very capable driver and, and hopefully I can keep up with him in the navigation and, and, we'll, and we'll get through it and hopefully get a good result.